Hello, YouTube. Well, Miles from Nexus Core here. Uh, I'm bringing you my 2019 Shadow Paladin deck profile, a uh, premium. <laughs> so let's dive right in, shall we? The starter is Drag Prince Root. Just ride, draw, grab a quick shield if it's uh, turn two, or if you're player two, I guess. Um, the main and only grade three run is four copies of Dragfall Luar. I have seen people use um, Drag Heart, but Drag Fall is just a little, just a little, I think, more uh, diverse in, in its its uh, skill application. So its first skill is um, Ritual X. For every grade one in your drop zone, decrease the counterblast cost of this card by one. So you may counterblast four and pick a normal unit from your drop and put it on the bottom of your deck and you get to basically do a free um, stride or ultimate stride. The ultimate stride part is pretty cool. Uh, but basically, if you have four grade one or, you know, four more grade ones, all you have to do is kick a normal unit and uh, you just get to stride for free. Um, its second skill is when you stride, you can counter blast one, search your deck for a grade one card, call it to rear guard. Uh, and if it has the ritual ability, you can grade one or lower, I'm sorry. But if it has the ritual ability, uh, you can retire one of your opponent's rear guards that is in the same column as the called card. So nice little control aspect. It gets a card out of your deck that you may just have sent back. Um, you can call out triggers too. So that's pretty cool because you can get like Belial on the board, Cursed Eye Raven on the board, just a lot of applications. Um, moving on to grade twos, we have, I forgot I have this card. Um, gotta run Dagda. Uh, for your Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse representation. Um, so his skill, wow, that's that that pattern does not do the art justice. It's like front and center, so you can't see the artwork. Look, let's see, like, look at it. You know, like, you can't make out the card that you're looking at. Yeah. No, I'm not complaining, just observation. You're just looking at a small I will, too. I, that's true, you're right. Who knows what people are going to look at on their computer screens mm -hmm. with dick in hand and lotion and uh, foreskin. Um, I don't do that to you guys, just for the record. Uh, so his skill is GB1 on rearguard. Uh, ritual 5. Counterblast 1 uh, on attack. Counterblast 1. Retire one of your grade 1 or less rearguards. Um, you may call up to, you can only use this card if your Vanguard's Luard, by the way. Um, your only sk skill, fuck, I can't speak. Basically, okay, on attack, counterblast one, retire a grade one or less rear guard, and then, um, search your deck for up to two grade one cards, call them to separate rear guards, and then shuffle. So basically, it's multi-attacking. If you get a stand on it, then you can use it twice in one turn, because it's also not once per turn. It's a very good card for your, uh, final turn, I guess. Um, I run four Morion Spear Dragon. Its skill is once per turn. Act, which is pretty nice. Uh, Soul Blast one and discard a card from your hand. This unit gets 5k. Uh, draw a card and this unit gets 5k. But if you discarded a grade one, uh, this unit gets 10k instead. So you make it a 20k card. You get a draw out of it. The Soul Blast allows you to get rid of your grade one ride. You can also discard a grade one or a trigger to shuffle back. Basically just allows you to control your drop zone and fuel into um, ritual more. So it's partially why I run it four of. I just really want to see it. But um, I know there are some cases where you might run like two to three of it and maybe like put Dagda at four. Uh, but this is definitely the ratio I'm the most comfortable with. Uh, then I run three Drag Wizard Leofail. Uh, his skill is on call, counter blast one. Search your deck for up to a grade one grade one card, call it to an open rear guard, and then shuffle. So just helps you get out of board. Um, I prefer to keep it at a three of. I don't want to run four just because it, it definitely... It, it feels like um, later on in the game, most of my grade ones are out of the deck and I would rather just recycle them using Luard or they're in my hand. And at that point, four feels like overkill. It was also to make room for a second copy of this card, Sharp Fang Witch Fodla. Her skill is uh, when placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, counterblast one and search your deck for up to two trigger units, call them to rear guards, and then shuffle. So um, 
basically it just helps you get out cursed eye raven and uh belial and whatever else you might need in the situation but it's i think it's a great card i think two of is just a perfect amount i was running it at one earlier and i wasn't seeing it at all so i recommend two um especially with how this deck becomes you know just infinitely better when you can pull off those late game cursed eye ravens so she helps with that on to grade ones i run three cherishing knight branwen uh it's the grade three searcher so on call check top five for grade three add to hand discard one if you get one and then uh if your drops in is three or more grade ones she gets 5k so great booster and of course because this deck is you know only four grade threes you definitely want to be able to search out your grade three um that is also why i run blue a spotted dragon uh albeit only at two i might want to put it up to three we'll, we'll see uh, but its skill is when it's placed check the top three cards of your deck for uh claret sword or morion spear and then put that into your hand uh and then you drop the rest um after that if your drops and it's five or more grade ones this unit gets 10k so obviously i don't run claret so this doesn't search out any grade threes for me but it does search out my uh, morion spear and that's also why i run more copies because higher chance of seeing it but basically just being able to fuel drop zone and also see my grade two ideal ride target really uh makes for it to be a really good card um then i run three black sage caron i mean you call in this deck you want to be able to counter charge off of it just when it's called from deck or when called by an ability soul blast one counter charge one in this unit gets 3k i just think it's a really all-around great card especially for a deck that can superior call through many different ways and do so so consistently um then i run only three skull witch nemen i had this at four and it just it felt like too much um i don't use her skill like as much as i normally as i feel like maybe i i should or just nice situations have not really made me think god i wish i had a fourth copy of this so i keep it at three but her scale is once per turn um rest and search your deck for a 5k unit and then call it uh if you use that skill you can't use the same skill of any nemin for the rest of the turn so hard once per turn um but you can call out nemin with nemin and then I also run one other 5k target, which is Abyssal Owl. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear guard, you may counter blast one and draw a card. But if your uh, Vanguard is the same grade as your opponent's, then you get to counter blast one, or you can soul blast one instead. So it's it's really good if you're um, if you're going second. No, sorry, if you're going for, uh, first, because my bad yes it's really good if you're going second because then you are always going to have equal grades the only issue is later on in the game when you are on stride when you're on your g unit obviously you're not going to have the same grade that's why i only run one because it is more of an early game card after that i kind of don't really care what happens to this i think that's no then the final grade one is just four of the grade one pg uh drag saver ezris uh so it's a PG, but it also has the skill to bounce itself from the drop zone. Um, GB1 Ritual 3. Pick one rear guard and retire it. Then pick, um, what is it? Uh, one other Drag Saber Ezra's from your drop zone. Add that to the bottom of the deck and then add this unit to hand. So you need to have two in drop, retire a rear guard, uh, and then you bounce it back to hand. So that's actually really good because you are putting a card back into the deck that's a pg you might see that eventually and then you're also retiring a rear guard like a belial for draw richard the camera's gonna die the red is flashing hmm. not the starter but i run the grade zero uh drag wizard vicro because when it's uh its skill is ritual three when it's retired by a, uh when it's retired for the effect of a card uh with the ritual ability i can counter charge one after putting into the soul so um it can get called out by nevin and it's nice to have that free counter uh counter charge right there so it's definitely a good card to just have in the deck um on to the triggers around four of the aforementioned belial owl uh hopefully everyone knows what this does by now but basically it's just when it gets retired by a skill of your own card you get to draw and then if you have a vanguard luard at the end of turn you get to shuffle it back or uh, send it back to the bottom of the deck so recyclable crit that gets you draws it's it's a great card um then i run three dagger of peaceful passing prittery 
Um, it's the GB1 crit, where when your Vanguard attacks, shove it to soul, draw, and then your Vanguard gets 10k. So just nice for power, nice for soul. This deck does go through a bit of soul, so it's just a nice card to have at times. Uh, use it early game if you don't have the best hand and get a hand. Um, run four Astral, Train Dr Astral Chain Dragon. Uh, it's the, I guess, heal guardian, people are calling it. Um, so you get to do like a few things, like damage yourself if you have no damage, uh, neg your opponent's unit to crit, or all of your opponents. No, give your Vanguard 10k. Yeah, so just defensive card for an early game if you get rushed. Uh, and then I run four Cursed Eye Raven. I love this card. Uh, so when it's called from hand, um, no, nope, that's not right. All you have to do is rest it. Uh, GB1, rest this card and put it on the top of your deck. Shuffle your deck. Look at the top two cards. Call any of uh, uh, any of those cards, um, and I believe you put the rest on the bottom. Uh, the cards called go as rest, and uh, at the end of the turn, retire those units. So, late game, you're going to have very little cards in deck, and hopefully, a lot of those are triggers. This card is what's going to help you deck thin for that final, hopefully, triple trigger with your uh, grade with your G unit Vanguard. So, that's really good. Um, and then I run my ultimate right now. Um, I run one Knight of Iron Cluster Craftine. Uh, its skill is Ritual One, Ritual Three, GB One. When it's placed on Vanguard on, on Rearguard from hand uh, until the end of turn, it gets a Red Tech skill. When it's retired from Rearguard for the cost of one of your cards, check the top two cards of your deck, search for one of them, uh, put it into your hand, and put the rest on the end of the drop zone. So, potentially adding a Grade One to drop or a trigger because of um, Morfessa. Uh, just a, becomes another viable retire target. Uh, I believe that, um, yeah, I mean, it's just nice to have, like, I, I figured the one would be good. You can add just a card to hand. It's just kind of like a fun little toolbox card. Um, I didn't really feel like I needed to up any other triggers in this, and I don't run the over trigger because in G zone, I run uh, Zaroth Dragon of Zenith Peak Ultima. Um, that's the one where when you ultimate stride, you counterblast two, search your deck for four cards, uh, call two of them and put the other two on the top of your deck, and then for the rest of the turn, any trigger effects get applied to your whole board. How could you not run this over and over trigger? Um, then the star of the deck is uh, Drag Principal Morfessa. Um, so this card is a uh, counterblast one once per turn uh, and flip a G unit face up, um, then retire two rear guards. You get to draw two cards in a end of turn. All of your trigger units in your drop zone are regarded as grade ones. So it really helps for ritual, but its second skill is ritual 10. All of your front row units get 15K and one crit. And when your opponent would call cards from hand to guardian circle to block those attacks, they have to call two or more at the same time. So just really good card. Um, this on top of uh, uh, Dagda, just with potential like double stand Dagda. If you have the resources in your deck, it becomes killer. So love this card. Fucking use it turn one. I mean, first stride. Um, turn one if you can. I run two Drag Abyss Luard. That's not, yeah, that's the name of the card. Um, its first skill is whatever. It's a uh, Soul Bust one and flip a uh, f flip itself face up from the G zone. Um, don't even know what the skill does. <laughs> Choose one of your rear guards and retire it. Search your deck for up to two grade one cards. Call them to separate rear guards uh, and then shuffle. Um, and if you call two units of the ritual ability, choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. That's pretty mediocre, but its other skill is ritual X. Uh, all of your front row units get 10K for every four grade one cards your drop zone. So just nice, nice number beat stick, you know, turn your front row into heavy beat stick. It's, it's mainly, it, it's there as like a backup if Morfessa just kind of isn't cutting it. Um, but really, if you can confidently feel, fill your drop zone up to like ritual eight, just push it for the ritual 10 and go into Morfessa. It's a better card. Uh, then I run one Dragstrider Luard. This card's more of like a finisher, one of those just, a lot of the G zone in this is very situational. Like you use it in just certain cases if you think you can win with it. But basically Luard's, Drag Wizard Luard, Jesus Christ, Drag Strider Luard's skill 
is GB2, Ritual 7. Uh, choose two of your rear guards and retire them. When this unit attacks, pay the cost. Uh, pick any number of cards in your hand and discard them. This unit gets 3k for each card discarded. And if you discarded two or more, until end of the battle, this unit gets a crit and a drive. And your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards from their hand to guardian circle. So guard restrict, quadruple drive, double crit, lots of extra power, kind of not really sensing an issue here. Um, bringing back the classic, a run to uh, Dark Dragon, Phantom Blaster, Diablo. Um, if your opponent has, it's counter blast one, flip itself, uh, then it gets the skill. You have to retire some rear guards. No, um, on attack, it gets 10 can of crit and then on attack, retire three of your rear guards. And if your opponent does not retire two of their rear guards, then they cannot guard uh, from their hand that for that battle. So like if your opponent has one or no uh, rear guards, they literally cannot pay the uh, cost to guard. So they're uh, limited only to G guarding. So really good pressure. Um, again, it's just one of those situational like, oh yeah, if I go into this card, I will probably win. That like you may not have to use Morphe. I mean, um, yeah, Morphe Uh Then I run one Dark Dragon Spectral Blaster Diablo. Um, I'm considering replacing this with Chain Ranker because Chain Ranker just has its its main skill is that it copies the skills of your heart, but obviously copying Luard's heart isn't good. Uh, what is good though is it's like GB three or GB four, right? GB three. Um, your opponent has to guard with four cards or more four cards at a time from hand for every attack you make so like think about that they need to drop 12 to guard three attacks and they'll need to drop even more if you hit any stands or use um dagda so like that's a pretty good card so i would really test it out with chain ranker i actually haven't had the chance to test it out yet i also don't think i have chain ranker or i did and it's in one of my other decks right now, but basically I'm using this for now. Um, you could do one or the other, but uh, Diablo's skill is, it's its first skill is Soul Blast one and um, flip any card from the G zone face up. Uh, pick one of your rear guards and retire it. And then end of turn, this unit gets uh, GB three, counter blast two and choose two of your rear guards and retire them. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked him and paid the cost. Um, and you can restand this card, but if you do, it gets drive minus two. Uh, and then it's, if you have a Diablo heart, it doesn't matter about that part. You get to call a card, but you're not gonna have a Diablo heart. Um, basically just, it's a restander for the extra pressure. Um, its skill is kind of costy, but this deck can definitely pay for that. So, but I will say, yeah, the more I think about it, the more Chain Ranker just sounds more um, appealing. But uh, whichever one you want, you're not gonna go into it. You're just gonna use more Fessi, I promise you. <laughs> then we have our G Guardians. We run two Plot Maker Dragon. It's a uh, Ritual Three. This unit gets 10k shields. Just you know, 25k guard is pretty good. I run one Witch Queen of Iniquity, Jalito. Salatin. What? That's for the fans at home. You what? Said, are... You said Witch Queen. Oh, Destiny. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, just that just clicked. Um, I just started playing, so like, I don't. Yeah. That's fair. I started playing a year ago. So. Okay, Richard, you can fuck off now. Um, there are other live service games I care more about. Excuse you. Uh, so this is that one of those old. This is like the first fighters collection of G Guardians, huh? Yeah, it's GB one. Um, when you guard with it, choose a face down G Guardian and flip it face up. Choose up to two of your, is it up to two? Yeah, choose up to two of your grade one or less rear guards and move them to guardian circle. If you moved two cards, you get to draw. I really like that. Um, I also kind of want to try my best to, after striding Morfessa once, to kind of turbo my way to ultimate stride. So the fact that this flips another card, like you have the Morfessa, you have, uh, you have the Morfessa and then the other card from its cost. Then you have this, that's four. You just got to get one more face-up card and you can do um, Ultima, right? Ultima only needs three face-ups. Is it three? Mm -hmm. I thought it was fucking five. No, it's three. Okay, even, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so... You could, you could do the regular G card, get the GB1 with that yeah. for its cost, pay that cost. Flip, first right. Into <laughs> that's true also, yeah. I've done it too many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there you go. You just turbo your way into ultimate, it's perfect. So the fact that this enables that is really nice. 
Um, also, throw your back row grade ones into the guardian circle with its scale fuel ritual. It's just like, there's not really much of an argument to be made there. I run one uh, Dark Veil Dragon. Its skill is uh, Soul Blast 1 when it's placed. Um, this unit gets 5k shield for every two grade ones in your drop zone. So because you're going to have so many grade ones in your drop, this can hit upwards of like... 30k shield, maybe even more, depending on the time you use it in the game. So it is very good for those very big numbered attacks. Uh, then we run one drag drag wiser brona. I think it's brona or something, uh, or like brunaha. Uh, when it's placed on guardian circle, reveal the top five cards of your deck. Call all of the grade one cards from among them to the guardian circle, and then put the rest on the bottom of your deck. So deck thinning, uh, getting your grade ones out, just great card for fueling ritual um then we run one air element ractome uh its skill is when you guard with it um you can discard a card and then draw a card so once again just a way to fuel uh, filter through the deck get out your grade ones into the drop zone and it's also flip fodder for Jolito. and then we run uh the pretty quick shield in the prettier sleeve courtesy of Richard from Nexus Core. So, that's the deck profile. Uh, comment, because I don't know. What's this game called again? Standard? I mean, Premium is such a wild, diverse format, so tell me what I can do better. Um, and I will see you in the next video. You guys have a great night.